question is about functions and about iteration uh, in order to find roots of equations. First things first, part A, nice and easy. Here's a function. Show that f of x is 0 has a solution in the interval 0.8 uh, to 0.9. Firstly, there is a trigonometric um, part to this function. So you must be in radians. If this here didn't give you a hint enough between 0 and pi, your calculator must be in radians mode. So the first thing you work out is you work out f of 0.8 and then you work out f of 0.9 with your calculator in radians mode. Now you can do that using the calculator facility. You could type in your calculator x squared subtract 3x plus 2 cos of a half x, press calculate button on your calculator and put in 0 0.8 and you get yourself 0 0.08 and you press the calculator function again and go 0 0.9 and you get yourself negative 0 0.09. Okay, so therefore we have a change in sign, you must say that, you must say that f is continuous. And therefore, root between uh, 0 0.8 is less than x is less than 0 0.9. Probably the easiest two marks on the paper. Okay, next, it says the curve with the equation y is f of x. So this curve here has a minimum point p. Show that the x coordinate p is the solution of this equation. Now, when you see the word minimum, maximum, turning point or anything, you know that you have to differentiate. So the first thing is, we have f of x is equal to x squared subtract 3x plus 2 cos of a half x. In order to uh, find a minimum, you have to differentiate first. Do not go ahead and make it equal 0 and solve. Firstly, state for a mark what the derivative is. That would be 2x subtract 3, and differentiate in this, you differentiate the inside, which would be a half. 2 times a half is 1. The differential, of course, is negative sine, so this would be negative sine of a half x. Give yourself a chance, and you're going to need this later, to write this down. Then you have to say what you're doing. At a minimum, you can't just start sticking zeros in everywhere. You have to say, at a minimum, f dashed of x is equal to 0. Tell the examiner what you're doing. So solve 0 is equal to 2x subtract 3 subtract sine of a half x. And now we're just going to rearrange this to get it looking in this form. Okay, simple as that. So let's just um, add a th 3 plus sine half x to both si sides. We would get that 2x is equal to 3 plus sine half x. And then dividing both sides by 2, I would get x is 3 plus sine a half x over x, over 2, sorry. Now, just be, be very careful to think right now. We've got our four marks easily. Just think what this is going to do. This, if we're going to use it for iteration later, is going to find for us the x value of the minimum. That is the same thing as finding the root of this equation. Finding the root of f dashed x is equal to 0. We are no longer dealing with f of x. We are now finding the root of f dashed x is 0. Because the root of f dashed x is equal to 0 is the x coordinate of the minimum. So when we're doing this later, we have to be careful to substitute in the right thing. And to help us do that, if we lay our working out and tell the examiner what we're doing at each stage, for example, write down our f dashed x before we go ahead and try and solve it, then it's going to make our life a hell of a lot easier to decide where to substitute back into. So part C, use the iteration formula to find x1, x2 and x3. On your calculator, type 2 equals. Then it is stored in the ANTS function. And on your calculator, then you would type in uh, 3 plus sine of a half ANTS over 2. You would simply type that in your calculator with your calculator in radians mode, don't forget. So 3 plus sine of a half times ants over 2. 
So typing that in your calculator, you would get x1 is equal to 1.921 to 3dp. x2 would be equal to, rounding correctly, 1.910. And x3 would be equal to 1.908. And you're done. Finally, part C. By choosing a suitable inter interval, show the x coordinate is that to 4dp. Now, careful here. You can't just keep pressing equals on your calculator using iteration. You have to show this is a root. This is a show that question. So when we do that, we always do the same thing. Here is what we're trying to show is the root 1.9078. We want to show that it's correct to four decimal places. So we're going to add on so we're going to add on 0 0.0005 0 0 and we're going to subtract 0 0.0005 from both sides to get the upper and lower bound. So it'll be 1.90785 and this one will be 1.90775. Okay, so we're going to plug that into the function. Now what function are we plugging into? The thing we're trying to find the root of is f dashed x is equal to zero. Okay, we're trying to find the x coordinate of the minimum point. Now, many students go back and they try and substitute it into this and they can't get a change of sign. It's this you are substituting back into. Okay, so it's 2x subtract 3 subtract sine half x. So f dashed x is 2x subtract 3 subtract sine of a half x. So we're working out f dashed of 1.90775 and we're working out f dashed of 1.90785 and hopefully we'll get a change of sign doing that. So 2x subtract 3 subtract sine of a half x and we're calculating that at the value 1.90775. And we get ourselves a negative number. And we calculate that at 1.90785. And we get ourselves a positive number. You write those numbers down, whatever they turn out to be. Therefore, change of sign. F dashed X continuous. Therefore, uh, 1.9078 is correct root to 4dp. And you're done. And that's that.